Hey, hey. It's funny how every time I turn this camera on, all of a sudden my hair looks like a hot mess. Looked perfectly fine 10 minutes ago when I looked in the mirror. <laughs> Oh gosh, so I hope everyone is having a beautiful day, um, Sunday, and um, you know, just trying to um, live your best life, enjoy some downtime. Um, so today I thought I'd come and show you a super quick um, craft that I'm working on. Um, I have a friend who is getting married and um, I'm not going to be able to make it to her shower. So, um, I wanted to make sure and get her gift ready ahead of time um, since I will be out of town on the day of her shower and that way I can give it to her ahead of time. And I wanted to do something really special for her. So, um, what I've got going on here is, let me show you what all I have. So, I bought this board at um, Hobby Lobby and um, they were not on sale, but I did the online 40% off coupon, so I got it for 40% off. I believe it was $14.99 was the regular price. I got 40% off of that, um, and if you've never done that before, um, you totally should. It's super easy, so when I'm at Hobby Lobby, before I go to check out, I always get my phone. I just do a quick Google of Hobby Lobby coupon. Um, they always have um, a 40% off regular priced item online and clicked on it, you show it to the cashier on your phone, they scan it, you're good to go. So if there's ever anything in the store that's not on sale that you want, um, then you can um, you know, create your own sale with that coupon. So that's what I did. I got this Hobby Lobby, it was $14.99, I got it for 40% off. And um, I really loved how it had this um, frame on the pallet board. A lot of times you see the pallet boards, um, but they don't have the frame. So I really loved this um, frame that um, is a little distressed. Um, so that's what we're gonna start with. And then I have um, a new transfer that I haven't tried yet, and um, it's backwards in here because I'm doing, um, I've got my phone turned around so that I can see what I'm doing. But it says love with a little heart, swirly heart on the end. I'm gonna put that right in the center with um, black chalk paste. And I've already kind of mixed it up. You always wanna mix it up really good. Make sure it's a nice, smooth consens consistency before you start working with it. So I've got that done. And the next thing I need to do to prepare is to fuzz the back of my transfer, especially since it's a brand new one, it's, um, it's gonna be super sticky. So um, you just, this is the Chalk Couture fuzzing cloth. You could also use a um, terry cloth towel. And so you just take the transfer off of the backing and you place it on the cloth and remove it several times. That way it gets the fuzz from the towel onto the back of the transfer and your transfer is not so sticky that it doesn't want to come off of your surface, which can cause um, stretching of your transfer and could actually mess up um, the design um, that's in the screen for the transfer. So I'm just gonna do this for at least six times for a brand new transfer. Um, on this wood, it won't stick as bad as it would on um, a chalkboard or glass or something like that. It would stick a lot more, um, but I don't want it to be too sticky. So we're just gonna do this a few times. The other thing that I did to prepare was um, I waxed the board and that's gonna help protect the transfer as well because um, you, um, you don't want it to get stuck too much get wood pieces and things like that on the back of your transfer and um, you know either damage or tear your transfer in any way these are super sturdy but I just want it to be extra cautious and so I waxed it with this min wax paste finishing wax and this one is in the natural color and um, I don't have anything to open it up with, but it's literally just a thick wax in there. So I just got a lint-free cloth. 
um, rubbed it on the inside to get wax on the cloth and then rubbed it um, on the board until the entire surface that I was going to be chalking had a nice um, covering on it. I let it sit overnight, um, but you really only have to let it sit for 20 to 30 minutes. And then you come back with a clean edge of your lint-free cloth and you buff it. Buff it out, get any excess wax off of there. So now that I have my transfer fuzzed, I'm just gonna place it in the middle of the frame where I want the words to be, or the word to be. So this one says love, and I'm just gonna try and line it up a little bit, make sure it's centered. So that's the other thing, if it's super sticky, then you're gonna be fighting with the sticky to get it lined up to where now it's not. I think that looks pretty good. Oops, and then I moved it. Okay, so um, you want to make sure that all of the areas around the screen are stuck to the board and that you don't have any bubbles. That way when you put your paste on, you're gonna have a nice clean finish. Okay, so that's plenty good. So next I'm just gonna get um, some of the black paste on my small squeegee and I'm gonna run it across until I have black in all areas of the screen. Any excess that's still on the squeegee, instead of wasting it, I'll just scrape it back into the bowl or the jar, I guess I should call it. Then I'm gonna pull all of the excess off of the transfer That looks good. And you'll notice I have paper towels over here on hand to try to keep from making a mess. And here goes the magic. Beautiful. So my transfer so that it doesn't get ruined and um, none of the paste or anything gets stuck in the um, screen. I'm going to lay it in a pan of water. I just have a little aluminum pan over here, throwaway pan that has water in it. That also will um, make the back not feel sticky anymore, but don't worry when it dries, the sticky will come back. But the great thing about it is it keeps your transfer from sticking to itself and then you having a hard time trying to loosen it back up and pull it apart. So I'm just gonna lay it in the pan here along with my squeegee to clean it up. Put my lid back on my chalk paste. Now, a lot of people like to keep a um, spray bottle of water and just put like one little squirt of spray in their chalk paste um, before they put the lid on if they're not gonna be using it again for a while. Um, I haven't had any issues with that so far, but um, if it does get a little too dry or too thick, you can add water. Um, it's not wasted or ruined. Just add a little bit of water, stir it up really, really good until you get to that um, nice, smooth consistency again. So let me show you what we have so far. Look at how nice that comes out. I can't see it. So it says love with a little heart on the end. And of course it's backwards because my camera is turned around. And really cute gift that I'm gonna give um, as a wedding gift to a friend. And what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna wrap it, once it's all dried, I'm gonna wrap it in just some brown um, shipping paper. This is like super duper thick paper, but it's the, the color that I wanted, so that's what I'm gonna use, is this brown shipping paper, and I'm gonna wrap it with that. And then I have this really nice um, ribbon it kind of looks like a mint green, but I thought it would look excellent on that brown paper. And it has a nice little um, edge, scalloped edge, makes it look a little lacy. Can't really tell the color in here, but it's, it's a mint green. And I think it'll look really good on brown. So 
that's what my package is gonna look like. Once I get it all wrapped up, I will um, post a finished picture um, so that you can see what it looks like. And sorry, I'm halfway off the screen here, but um, this has been fun. If you have any questions about Chalk Couture or how to make a project like this or anything that I did, um, you have any interest in purchasing uh, Chalk Couture products or having a party or even joining as a designer, please leave a comment below and I will get in touch with you and um, help you along the way with that. Um, this has been super fun. I can't wait for this to dry and I can't wait for her to open it. I know she's gonna love it. And I mean, super duper fast, really cute, unique gift that you cannot buy at the store. Um, and now I'm ready, I have a gift. I didn't have to go spend, you know, five hours at the mall trying to figure out what in the world um, to get that everybody else wasn't going to get. So my gift will be unique and um, I know that she's going to love it because um, I made it myself. So this has been fun. Thanks so much everybody for watching. I really do appreciate it and um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you're just now joining in, um, the video is about over but the replay should be up here shortly and you can watch it from the beginning if you missed any of it. Thanks guys. Have a beautiful Sunday.